Hello, my name is Scott and welcome to today's tutorial which forms part of my step-by-step -step Blackboard Collaborate tutorial series. One of the most common questions I've been receiving of late is around how to share audio and video content effectively using Blackboard Collaborate. Many colleagues have found that, for example, sharing a traditional PowerPoint with videos embedded in the presentation leads to the audio of the embedded video not working correctly for the attendees. So today we will explore how we can share audio and video effectively using Blackboard Collaborate. To begin, it's worth noting that there are two ways to do this. The first way is to utilize video sharing sites such as YouTube or Vimeo. And the second is through sharing an audio or video file directly from your computer. Let us now move over to the Blackboard Collaborate environment to see how we can do this in practice. So I've now joined a test session that I've set up for this demonstration. We shall start by looking at how we can share a video and its audio through a video sharing site. To begin, we need to find the video on the online platform that we wish to share during this session with the attendees, such as, for example, a YouTube video. As you'll be able to see here, I have already done this and kept it open in another Chrome tab. So the video that I want to share here is around how to access your Blackboard Collaborate recorded sessions. If I now go back to the test session that we're running, what I need to do is select down here the Collaborate panel then select the share content option and then select the share application and screen choice. Once we're greeted here, we need to choose the Chrome tab option. And then here we need to choose the video that we wish to share. And this example, I wanted to share the how to access your Blackboard Collaborate session. So I choose this tab. And then alongside this, I must tick this box at the bottom, which is about sharing the audio as well. From here, I then simply click share. And now what is happening is the video is being shared or that tab is being shared. And from here, I can start the video by clicking play. And if I pop back up to the test session, what we'll see is that the participants are now seeing that video being shared and they will also be hearing the audio from that video. Once we are done, we just need to stop sharing the screen. And then we can go back to using our PowerPoint or other presentation software that we were using in the session. The second way we can share a video audio file is where we have a video audio file on our computer that we wish to use. If I minimize the Chrome tabs here, we can see that I have a video file that I wish to share with the attendees. To share this video, I first need to open it up in the Chrome browser. To do this, I right click on the file and choose open with and select the Chrome option. If the Chrome option is not there for you, you will need to go down to the other option at the bottom of the screen and then click this. And then when the little box pops up, click to enable all applications and then find Chrome within your applications box. As I have this option here, I will select it from here. This will now open uh, the video within the Chrome tab. I will just stop that and bring it back to the beginning. Now what we need to do is share this video in the exact same way we did for the previous video. So if I go back to the test session, what this means is we choose the option of share application or screen. Then we choose the Chrome tab option. Then we find the video. So this is the video here, which I chose from my computer. Then I tick the share audio option and then I click the share option. And this will now share that video. And again, I can begin playing that. And if I pop back to the test session, you will now see that video is being played. And also the participants and attendees should be able to hear the audio from that video. And it's as simple as that to effectively share audio and video content using Blackboard Collaborate. Thank you for watching and I hope you found this tutorial useful and I look forward to seeing you all again in the next tutorial.